Dante Harmon presents Sacred Steel Made Simple. If you look underneath the word major scale, it says the formula. Whole, W stands for whole, H stands for half. Okay? Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, on the steel guitar, there's a trick to this, and I'm getting ready to show you. And I, I didn't really come up with this. It, it, I, it just, I just happened to kind of um, realize it when I was doing this or practicing last night, that we're actually following this pattern on the steel, simply because we are moving a whole step when we move two frets. We're moving a half step when we move one fret. So if you follow that formula, there's your major scale. Okay, here's my triad. Here's my one, here's my three, here's my five. Okay, so that's my one. Here's my two. Because what am I doing to two? Flat my what? E flat. Flat my E, which is the, the what? Your third. Your third. Okay. Then the next what? G what? Flat. Then my four is, is major, right? Five is what? Major, right? Six is what? Minor. And seventh is what? And eight is what? Okay, you hear the scale? Because sometimes when you're in church, you really don't know what you're playing. You just, you know, whoo, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds good. A one and a two. <laughs> so it's important. It's important that you know what you're doing, because um, there will be times where you don't you don't know. You know you're asked to, asked upon to do something, and they may they may not talk in your language. You know um, we're gonna play in the key of C. You may know where C is. You say okay, I need you to go to the four in C. Okay, well what's the four in C? Well you have to know the major scale of C to know what the four note is and what degree you play that note. So the four in C is what? Is F. So you know they want you there, okay? That's the difference between, you know, remember this formula, that whole represents two frets, half represents one fret, you'll be able to play a major scale, okay? Because here's the, here's the major scale in E. I'm gonna start on my open string. If my hole is two frets, hole is, the next hole is two frets, half is one fret, hole is two frets, another hole is two frets, another hole is two frets, and then the half is one fret. The cool thing about our tuning is that they are different and they are unique. If you look in Nashville, and I, I know Wade is a witness, most of the guys, the session players in Nashville play using the E9 country style and the C6 swing, okay? Those are the only two tunings that are in Nashville. So if you were to go play a, a country session or if you were to even sit in a session with any of those guys, they got their guitar tuned one of two ways, either E9 or C6. So our tunings are basically totally outrageous. My guitar is tuned in E6. Kashai is tuned in E7. This one's E7, and that's E major. E major. Yours is tuned in what, probably E major? Yeah. Hit it, hit the tuning for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit yours. I want, I want them to hear this. Hit it, hit it. 
did it from like very strange from the top. Okay, that's E9, you guys. Hit it again. That's an E9 too. So in Nashville, those guys, any bit at that guitar and play fluently. Because that is the way that they, they set up their guitar. It's just a universal standard tuning. Now for us, what's universal and standard is E7. <laughs> That's it. So you can tune your E's straight up and down, tune your B straight up and down. Even on my guitar in the, in the, e, in the E9 guitar, I have an F sharp. I can tune that up straight up and down. But my thirds and even my sixths, no, Harry Nelson, Harry Nelson was unique because he, he brought a drumming style to his playing. Yes, he, he would literally <laughs> pick his hand up and, and just do all kinds of things. But he was probably, probably the best blocker that I know. Because when he would play, 